Okay, so we're going to be looking at how to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle. Now, before we do that, we need to have an understanding of what the words area and perimeter mean. And starting with perimeter, the perimeter of a shape is the distance around it, as if, if you were to walk around the shape. Now, you might have heard phrases in crime TV shows or crime movies, such as, check the perimeter, make sure no one's watching. Now, what this means is, if you were to go around the building, you would be checking the perimeter, and thereby finding or checking the distance around the shape. So, that is perimeter. Now, area is a little bit different. Area is the space inside a two-dimensional shape or a 2D shape. And I'll show you how this is a little bit different to perimeter via this rectangle here. Now, in our rectangle over here, we can see that it has one length that is three centimeters over here and one length, which is four centimeters over here. Now these actually have special names. One is called the length and one is called the width. Now the length of the rectangle is always the longer length, which in this case is the four centimeters and the width is always the shorter distance, which is the three centimeters. So we can see here the length is four, the width is three. Now if we start with perimeter and do this in green, the perimeter of a shape we said is the distance around the shape. Now, if I look at this point over here, if I walk this distance from here to here, that is a distance of four centimeters. Now, in a rectangle, we know that the parallel lines or the opposite lines are the same length. So this must also be three centimeters. And if this is three centimeters, because it's opposite this one, this must be four centimeters because it's opposite the line below. So we've just said that we walked from here to here for our perimeter, that's equal to four. Coming up, that's another three. Coming back to the left again, that's adding another four. And coming all the way back down to our starting point is another three. So we've gone four three four three that means our perimeter in total is equal to four plus three which is seven plus four is eleven plus three is fourteen centimeters and that's a measure of distance so it could be in centimeters could be in meters millimeters kilometers for this example we've just used centimeters now area is a little bit different and it's not measured in centimeters as a slightly different unit. Now, any in area, I'm going to do in pink. So, area talks about the space inside a shape and it uses what we call a centimeter squared, which is a centimeter by a centimeter. It's a square that's one centimeter by one centimeter, making a square centimeter. And we can see that here I've shaded. A square centimeter. Now, if I was to count the number of squares in there, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve square centimeters. Now, normally we're not given the dotted lines in the middle, so we need to maybe find a way of doing this without just counting squares. Well, how else could I get twelve from these numbers? Well, if we look at this, I've got four squares this way, one, two, three, four. I've got three squares this way. So that makes one row of four, two rows of four, and three rows of four, which is just simply multiplication. So our area here is the four times by the three. But if we didn't have four and three, just thinking about in terms of the letters, it's the length times by the width length times by width, which gives us the length is four times by the width, which is three, gives us 12 
centimeters squared, square centimeters. And that's the area of that rectangle, 12 centimeters squared. Now, let's just apply that to another question. Now, before we do that as well, it's important to note that because this is in centimeters, it was centimeters squared. These were meters, it might have been square meters, it was millimeters, it might have been millimeters squared. So it's just always a length, which we know that is squared. Here is my second rectangle. Now, this one's different because the length over here is 1.5 centimeters. It's half a centimeter. So that's 1.5 centimeters. And the other length is six centimeters. Now, if we think about the area, we can see that we've got six four squares, one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are only half squares. So that's half and a half. Now two halves make a whole. Another two halves will also make a whole. And another two halves will also make a whole. So that would be another one, two, three squares. So we should get nine square centimeters here. But let's check via our formula. Our formula was the area is the length times by the width. Now the length here is six. The width is 1.5, six times by 1.5. Now if you do this with a calculator, or if you do this in your head, or if you do this via other methods, you get a value of nine and the units being centimeters squared. So we can see that that's also worked. We've got our area is nine square centimeters. Now let's just confirm the perimeter as well. We're talking about perimeter. We said that's the distance around the outside. So if I start from here, you know, going all the way to here, it's going to be a value of six. I come up this way, that's 1.5 as well. If I come back to the left, that's also a value of six. So plus 1.5 plus six. Coming back to the final straight back to the beginning is plus 1.5 as well. Six plus 1.5 is 7.5. Plus six is 13.5, plus 1.5 is 15 centimeters. So it's a distance of 15 centimeters all the way around the outside. And the space inside the shape is nine square centimeters. I hope that's made sense. If it hasn't, please comment below or feel free to ask me yourself. Thank you.